my deaf friends. So if you've used the old ones, yeah, I need to stop talking. Hi everybody, all right, so today I am here to talk to you about my September favorite. I have been really loving a lot of stuff. The only thing is I barely wore makeup all this month because how busy I've been. Uh, school started and I am working seven days a week and school four days a week. So really I have no time to film, to buy products, to love products, nada. I've been a little obsessed with buying fall fashion, uh, buying a lot of clothes, but not a lot of makeup. So what I've had is what I've been really loving. There's probably two new things I've bought this month that I've been enjoying, but the rest I've already had and I'm just loving again and again and again. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with makeup first, because we all know that is my passion, girl. So let's get started. So this palette, looking as dirty as it is, I have been obviously using every single time I did my makeup this month, this has been on my eyes. It is on my eyes right now, and I have been loving this it. This palette I picked up at the Vancouver Eye Mats. And I ended up buying 12 of these. These are the size of MAC shadows. And they are 150 times better than their MAC, be better than any MAC shadow I've ever had. My MAC palettes have not been touched since I bought them. I'm going to show you the quality of these shadows. I'm not going to be swiping all around in there. Just one, look. Look at that. Okay. One more. How about this one? You will die for these. Next one. These shadows, let's do this one. You will die for these shadows. They are pigmented, they are creamy, they are so easy to blend, and Morphe's brushes are doing this right. I don't know where they're getting these shadows made, but they are amaze balls. All right, I'm gonna get these off my fingers so I can show you the rest of my favorites. The next thing that I've picked up and I've been loving is this Sonia Kashuk um, concealer. Obviously you can see it's been a little loved, just a tad bit. It is extremely creamy but it has a really high coverage. Now I do love to pack my concealer on, as you can see. I learned with this, less is more. So if you put a lot of this under your eye, it's going to crease. No matter how much you powder, it's going to crease. So the less is more with this, use it. I really love actually using the powder to set my concealer. And it's been amazing. I don't know what else to say about this, but buy it, try it, you will love it. All right, so the next thing is what I've recently picked up. I've actually tried this at Sephora once, got a little tester, um, really dried up by the time I got home to put it on because they didn't have any of those little baby tubs to put it in. They had to put it in a plastic bag for me. How disgusting. Um, so by the time I got it home, it was a little dried up and I didn't know how much I really liked it. Anyways, I decided to just pick this up. So this is about $45 or so probably close to 50 bucks with taxes and everything. It is a little expensive, but this is the only foundation I have had compliments on. I wear foundation every single time I put makeup on. I don't just put a little bit of makeup on and go. If I'm spending the time to put makeup on, I want full ass coverage on my face. So this has been amazing. All right, so I have a couple more things to go through. This one, is a mascara that one of my friends got me for my birthday. And I think this is one of the best mascaras that MAC has come out with. It really does give you a lot of volume and also gives you a lot of length, which is what we all look for, right? So there you go. My last makeup of September love is this. Now, sadness of life, I dropped it. And you know what happens when you drop things? Not a lot of good stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. So I dropped this and this whole thing just came out. So 
oh yeah it's gonna fall off so I'm gonna hold on to it to show it to you um this is the Betty Luminizer it's supposed to be a highlighter but I use it as a little bit of a shimmery kind of bronzer when I want to bronze up my face um, a lot of people use this for shadow I haven't yet but I'm definitely looking forward to use this as a very shimmery shadow so yeah I've been loving this too right, now that we are done with makeup I'm gonna go over two things that I've been loving for my hair one is this dry shampoo from Lush it's called no drought we all know about it um, I know a lot of people on YouTube talk about this it's amazing I'm kind of obsessed and I have been not washing my hair just to use this which is kind of nasty but I've been using this when my hair it just needs that pick me up so it's a pretty good dry shampoo and the last thing for this month is my baby I've been using this since I was what 13 on my head and on my head literally no I'm kidding it's been on my hair um, and then I kind of stopped and I thought let's try other heat protector and see um, how they work guess what mama's back to this one this one has been giving me that best kind of feeling to my hair after I blow dry it um, none of the other heat protectors that I've used has done that so I'm back to that. I've been using this new thing on my hair and I'm kind of obsessed with it but I haven't used it for a month for me to show it to you guys so hopefully if it's not a fail it will end up in my next favorites video and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my little craziness excuse the background I know how messy my room is like I said I haven't had time to clean my makeup room so ignore it all right I will work on this I promise next time it'll be beautiful maybe I'll do a room tour I don't know but we'll see all right so I need to stop rambling I love you all and I will see you in the next video